Okay, first mistake. Your bat's wet. This is a good demo for today because it's raining. What happens if you're in your car and you go over a puddle of water really fast? Slide. Did you say slide? You hydroplane, right? <laughs> Hopefully that's never happened to you. So, well, it does also splash. So watch. If there is water in between your clay and your bat, it will hydroplane, okay? We don't want that to happen. So make sure, we're gonna see if we can get this to stick. You want it to be dry and you don't want there to be excess water on your clay, okay? So that's step one. <laughs> if your clay is too hard, it may also not stick. So if you have a dry bat, your clay is nice and dry and it's just not sticking, it may be too hard. Okay, so that's something to check. All right, so first step to making anything on the wheel is what? Centering, okay. So we're gonna center first. We're going full speed. Here we go. What did I do wrong? I know, it's like a witch's hat. Look, this is the perfect demo for today. What was I doing wrong? You had no control. I had no control whatsoever. Why didn't I have control? Huh? My elbows weren't tucked in. Okay. If your arms are flying free, that clay is going to control you. It's going to tell you where to go, but we want to tell the clay where to go. So if your elbows are not in, your clay is going crazy. So that's why it's so important. Okay. So let's see if we can kind of fix this up okay try this again i'm gonna try to get it back okay <laughs> so you'll notice the more things that i do wrong the messier i'm gonna get i stayed fairly clean for that first demo right it's gonna get fairly messy here so now i'm gonna lock in but i'm gonna do this Okay, do you see like it spiraled? So, does anybody know why I did that? Because you're using just your pinkies. I was kind of using just my pinkies, but also my hands were moving too quickly for the speed of the wheel. So I wasn't giving the wheel a chance to do one rotation before I moved my hands. I was just kind of like doing this, okay? Now let's watch the right way. So let me cone it back down. If I'm doing it the right way, My hands were moving much slower, weren't they? Okay, so don't let the speed of the wheel dictate how quickly your hands go, okay? All right, so now coning down, here we go. <laughs> what did I do wrong? I pushed straight down, my elbow was flying free and you kind of get this like weird mushroomy thing, okay? So we don't want to do that. Oh, and look, now my clay's coming off. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, let's see if we can make <laughs> All right. So we're coning up correctly. So to cone down, I'm anchoring my elbow and I'm more on the side here. I'm letting that center point be the tallest point. Okay, another common coning down mistake is this. So notice how my hand started to angle out. I have a mountain rather than a gumdrop. We don't want a mountain because we want to kind of keep the clay contained into our gumdrop. So it's really important that your hands stay straight up and down, okay? So I think those are the most common coning up and down mistakes. Let me get this actually centered. Okay, common mistake for making the hole. Okay, I centered my thumbs and here we go. Do you see those wobbling? 
Why is it wobbling? I had no stability. My fingers were not supporting, my elbows were not supporting. So you'll notice the common theme to the right way to do it, anchor in, get yourself nice and stable. The other common mistake with um, making the hole is that kids will open their fingers and let their thumbs separate. But if your thumbs are separating, your hands are both performing a job, but they're not touching, right? So then you get this funky little thing in the middle. Okay? And that's because I let my thumbs separate. So make sure you keep your thumbs together. Okay? I'm going to see if I can kind of fix that. Okay, next common mistake comes when we're pulling up our walls. This is what I see more often than not, pulling up my walls. What am I doing wrong? Okay, lots of things happening. I'm angling out as I'm going up. Okay, remember we wanna keep it a cylinder. And then also both hands were doing a job and they weren't touching, okay? So think about it. If both hands are doing a job, if I'm squeezing with one hand and squeezing with the other hand, is it gonna be absolutely assured that I'm doing the same pressure? No. Absolutely not. And this hand was doing a job over here on the side that was coming towards me. We wanna be working on the side that's going away. So to fix that, we can give it a hug. So make a V, give it a hug. And we wanna anchor in, squeeze, doing the job together on the side that's going away from us, okay? Next common mistake. We're gonna pull past the top this time. So we're pulling, we're pulling, we're doing great. Oh, I went past the top. And you get this nick where your hands came up off of the top, okay? Um, here's what happens, so then we'll have, okay, I'll fix it, it's great. Look what happens when I actually start the wheel. It's funky, right? Okay, sometimes we can kind of fix it just by steadying it. I'm gonna do a trim cut here. We're still okay. Okay, um, next common mistake. We're pulling, we're pulling, maybe I squeeze harder in one spot and this happens. Oh man. So I had uneven pressure as I was pulling up. So I squeezed too hard in one spot. That's all right guys. I still think I can get a bowl. Okay. This is the mistake that will end it all. So rather than pulling up into a cylinder, I'm going to pull out. I'm going to pull out. <laughs> Yep, and I pulled out and I flopped. But wait, can I fix it? Hold on, let's hug it. Nope. So it might look cool. It might look cool, I know, but not a bowl. Yeah, so just call me the next flopped wheel artist. Um, so clearly not a bowl, okay? So it got way too wide and when I tried to push it back in, the clay, just like if you try to stretch it too much, it'll crack. If you try to compress it back too quickly, or if it's just beyond repair, it's gonna fold in like this, okay? So that's okay, guys, that's all right. I'm gonna just take all of this. All right, I'm ready to start again, right? No, that's not wedged. Oh, it's not wedged, you're right. This is gonna have so many air pockets. If you mess up, don't just do this. It will not work. It will be a mess. There are wire cutters on the wheel wall. Cut it off, okay? And you can just take this over the wedging table and just wedge it real quick to get that slime off and then take it to a canvas board and just wedge it and then come back and try again. Do not try to wedge. And then I'll also have the kid that's like, Yep, I wedged it, let's go. Okay, that is not good wedging. It's gonna have air pockets everywhere. You going home? No, oh, okay. So just make sure you cut it off and start fresh, okay? 
I think that's good. So notice how much dirtier I got when I was messing up a lot. Okay, so I will clean this up. Do you guys have any questions? Can you hit stop for me?